Hi all of you. Let's start our class with a prayer. Oh God, the origin of all knowledge, bless all of us so that we may learn our subjects better and do our duties well. Good day to all. So we'll go come back to the science class, the next chapter, that is chapter 10. In this chapter, you're going to learn about the main source of energy. The main source of our energy. The very important source of energy. That is what you are going to see. So before that we will we'll see what you what is meant by energy. You know the term what is energy, isn't it? What is energy? Yes, whatever you if you if you don't have energy, will you be able to do anything? Will you be able to do anything? No, isn't it? You need energy to do all the works. So we can tell that energy is the ability to do work so that is energy energy is the ability to do work so without it we are not able to do anything so like that not only for the living things also there's a vehicles vehicles how do the vehicles move how do they move hmm? they too need energy yes they too need energy then a computer need energy so we'll see what what how do we get energy how do how do we get energy we get energy from the food we eat isn't it same way this vehicles how do they move how from where do they get energy yes they get energy from the fuels what are fuels petrol diesel isn't it so from that they get energy to move then computers how do the computers work with the help of electricity if the current had gone will the computers work ah, sometimes it works with the backup of the ups ups is the battery of it if that in that if there is no charge the computer automatically will will be switched off so it works with the help of the energy which gets from the electricity so that is energy so energy is very important it is the ability to do work for for us for living things and all living things so, now we are going to see in this chapter about the main source of all these energies. That is sun. Sun is the main source of energy. And you know what, what is the sun? Who is the sun? You have seen also. Sun is the main source of energy. And what the sun gives us? Nowadays it is very, very, very hot. Isn't it? Now it is summer season. Yeah, sun is bright. Uh, now shines shining brightly. So hot. So one energy we get from sun is sun gives us heat energy. And also we don't want light in the morning. Don't want to switch on the bulbs or not. Why? We get a light. Oh, we get energy, another energy from the sun that is the light. So we can tell that sun gives us heat and light. These are the two energies we get from the sun. And the energy we get from the sun, it is known as the solar energy. The energy we get from sun, it is known as the solar energy. So about sun, this uh, energy from the sun, how do, how do we use this energy? All these things you are going to see in this chapter. Yes. Now again the next one is, how is solar energy important to us? What is the importance of solar energy that is what we are going to see again yes it is telling that life is not possible without the solar energy life is not possible without solar energy it provides us heat and light and which is which is uh, helpful for the growth of plants and animals plants and animals and we have learned in the chapter Plants, uh, their functions that have chapter, we have learned that the leaves, the who, who prepare the, the living thing which prepare their own food is the, they are the plants. And the plants prepare the food, which part of the plant prepares food? The leaves. And how do they prepare food? With the help of uh, air, yes, which air? Carbon dioxide, sunlight and chlorophyll. Okay, so on water also. And there you can see the leaves prepare food with the help of sunlight. Uh, so that is and it is said that we need heat and light from the sun to 
for all the living things to be in this earth. So and also the plants are preparing food with the help of sunlight and that process of preparing food with the help of sunlight is known as photosynthesis. Yes, so these are the things why it is important, why solar energy is essential for, our, for us. Yes, so that is about the importance of solar energy. Now you are going to see in our daily life. In our daily life, how do we use the solar energy? Nowadays, we are mainly using from the electricity uh, produced from the water. Now we are going to see how. Now in many places, they are use, your solar energy is used mainly in the Tamil Nadu areas and all. They are capturing, that is very hot areas, no? They are using the solar energy. Solar energy, they are capturing it on a solar solar panels you can see if you go to that area and all you can see solar panels nowadays in kerala also in, in our state also you can see that solar panels which capture the heat energy and light energy from heat energy and the light energy will be the panels there are some solar cells on it small small uh, blocks you can see and those cells what they will do is they will capture the sunlight the solar panels consist of many solar cells. Batteries are there. Solar uh, batteries are there. They will capture that energy, that heat energy, and that is converted into the electricity. And is converted into electricity. So using that electricity, uh, mean the street lights will work. Then it can it can be used to light our houses, in the offices. All these can be used. We using the solar energy so this are many solar panels solar sheets you can see have you seen it i don't know now uh, you will be you can see it if you're gone now in many places it is there solar panels they will capture the light and the uh, solar this energy so heat energy and they'll convert it into electricity and it can be used to light up a house street lights etc in the same way there are solar cookers solar cookers in which we can cook the food and we can save the gas which we are using here nowadays a gas the rate of the gas is very high because it is there is uh, limited limited uh, petroleum nowadays so that is why the gas uh, rate is uh, higher so we can use we can reduce the use of gas if you use a solar cookers another one is heaters you'll be having water heaters to heat the water and all isn't it that water heaters are working in the electricity but uh, nowadays there are uh, solar heaters which works with the help of this solar energy uh, so that we can save the electricity what we are using so these are some of the things for uh, if we can how we can use a uh, solar energy in the daily in our daily activities one is the solar panels they convert into the electricity solar panels convert the sun, solar energy into electricity and it can be used to light our houses and all then another one is instead of using the gas we can use the solar cookers which use the sun, sun, sun's energy sun's heat to make food then the next one is solar heaters are there which use directly the sun's energy sun's uh, energy which uh, and it can heat up the water so that is we don't want to use the electricity for that so these are the things we can uh, do using the solar energy did you get that much again we are going to see the next one now we have said all these things all these things the sun is using the sun is using we have used the sun for many the uh, energy of the sun the light energy and the heat energy of the sun is used for many purposes uh, and then also it is, there is no end for it. The sun is shining brightly after, even after we are using. The sun is there bright, uh, with uh, that much amount of heat and light it is there. There is, no, there is no end for the energy which is given by the sun. Sun, Isn't it? So that kind of energy. We are dividing the energy into two types. That is the energy sources that will last for a longer period of time. without There is no end for it those kind of energy which there is no now we, we understood it that kind of energy is known as the renewable source of energy hmm? 
the energy source which does not have an end that kind of energy is known as the renewable source of energy so we said that the sun's energy is used in the solar panels to convert into electricity in the solar cookers after that also there is again now again also you can every day the sun is coming with the same amount of heat and like here isn't it so it doesn't have an end so those sources which gives us the energy without an end it is known as a renewable source of energy same way water we are getting water uh, water there is no end for the energy that electricity we are taking up there is another energy a renewable source of energy then wind in many places wind the energy from the wind is used to uh, run the uh, wind mill uh, all those things so that is another renewable source of energy so sun wind and water are the renewable source of energy again another type of energy is there after use after a long long use and all it will end there is an end hmm? that will not last for a long time it will not last for a long time that kind of energy which will not last for a long time they are known as the non renewable source of energy got it renewable source of energy and non renewable source of energy renewable source of energy uh, lasts for a long period of time whereas the non renewable source of energy will last it will not last for a long time now we are said now petrol the rate of the petrol is very high why is it so diesel all these they will get an end a uh, cooking gas they have uh, there is a raise in the amount uh, this also why there is a limited production of the cooking gas we are not getting a uh, petrol these are all petroleum products so it is because it is a non renewable there is difficult to again to again it will take a long time to be produced again so that is why it is known as the non renewable source of energy yes so we have said now non renewable source of energy now many of our things are used in a non renewable source of energy so there is a need to save the energy ah uh, if you go on wasting the energy what happens you won't get it afterwards so how to save energy that is the next thing you are going to see again now if you are going out of your room what do you have to do what will you do you'll be switching on the fan and uh, sitting day uh, lights will be there ah uh, or in the classroom if you are there or sometimes if you are going out for drill and all what will the ma teacher come and tell or your uh, uh, master will tell switch off the light switch off the fan isn't it why is it so to save electricity to save electricity switch off the fan and light whenever you leave your classroom or whenever you leave your house from the room from the home uh, before you go and all next one is fridge and all you'll open the fridge and all uh, after it uh, if you're taking out other things what you have to close the door and they said that refrigerator door if it is open and kept for a long time it takes more electricity then if you are not using the computers and television switch off it that is another thing uh, only a walkable distance is there don't use your uh, car or scooter or anything instead you can use if you have a cycle you can use cycle or you walk and go to the nearby places another one we should use cfl bulbs you know what is a cfl bulb and also the led lamps instead of the ordinary tube lights tube lights and all will take more electricity uh, than the cfl and led lamps these are the ways you can save energy so in this chapter renewable source of energy not renewable source of energy those two two things are very important okay then the different ways to we are using the solar energy which are the different ways you are using it on uh, by the, the solar panels solar cookers solar heaters then any five points from how to save energy these are the important things you have to learn in this chapter the main source of energy that is sun okay so that is the important things in this chapter and one more part is given in it the uses of solar energy in the daily activities during the different seasons now it is summer season you know it is very hot and what do you can do the main thing is you can dry up your clothes under the sun then in the winter season you know it is very cold time it warm our body will be warmed up by the sun now rainy season if sun comes at that time 
you will be able to drive the clothes if there is a sun sunlight you in the sun in that sunlight that is another thing so that is about the uh, daily activities in different seasons so main things i have said already what all things renewable and non renewable are very important how to save energy that is another important part what you have to learn so that is for today's class and that, that is a your 10th chapter learned well ma'am will be giving you the notes of this so thank you have a nice day